Hello everybody and welcome to Mr. Stansfield's education videos. Today we're going to take a look at how to use actions in Photoshop. Briefly put, actions are a um, automatic thing that you can both create and use if other people have created them in Photoshop. And, and what it does is it automates something and it makes um, for basically some efficient use of Photoshop. So if you're looking to make your workflow a little bit more efficient, to be able to adjust a photo the same way every time or do something really cool like what we're going to do today is actually um, use a, a Photoshop action um, that was created by um, what essentially is a, a programmer. There's a lot that's involved with this action um, and I'm just going to take you through it. So let's go ahead and jump into it here. Put myself down here and this is from the Creative Cloud Adobe blog. Um, if you just Google free Photoshop tune, um, uh, Adobe Photoshop CC, you know, you'll, you'll find this blog post here. And there are some detailed step-by-step -step instructions and step-by-step -step videos that you can follow. So I'm not going to reinvent the wheel here. The instructions are really good, but what I wanted to do was highlight a few things that you may need to know before you even follow these instructions. So this is um, Nuan Patilla. Um, sorry, Panditha, um, also known as Black Null. So this is a person who created this Photoshop action. It's easy to install and run, it says, but let's just make sure that all of uh, you who have maybe never used an action before understand how it works. So this is the result. Um, the result is this pretty cool tune effect, cartoon effect. And the first thing we're going to do is download the Tune Artist Photoshop action file. So I'm just going to click that right there and it's going to download into my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and open it because it's a zip file. So that's something also that maybe not all of us um, understand how to, how to work with. So if you click on this Tune Artist zip, if you double click on it rather on a Mac, it'll open up, unzip the file or uh, uncompress the file, decompress the file so that you can go into this folder and you'll see an ATN a PAT and a PDF. The PDF basically has the instructions that we're looking at on the web here. I'm just going to close that window and go back to the web here and go through this process. Um, so before you start it says that there are a couple of things. Now I'm going to be installing this on an older version of Photoshop. We can see actually it's, it's open right here. Adobe Photoshop CC 2018. And so there's a special caveat for anybody that's working with Photoshop uh, CC before 2020. After 2020, um, you, can, you can do it, uh, it's a little easier, the way that they have updated the patterns panel in Adobe Photoshop after 2020. Before 2020, the patterns panel was kind of hidden and a little bit more difficult to use, but the action should still run for us on 2018. So, what is an action? Where does it live? How do we install it? So let's go through here. Um, follow the instructions step by step. Um, but I'm going to jump ahead to this installation part right here. Let's go to Photoshop. And if you're looking for where to find the actions, right now our workspace is set to Essentials. That's the default workspace. And I can find that under the Window panel in Photoshop. But the Actions panel actually isn't in the Essentials workspace. So Window and then Actions. If I click on that, it'll actually pop up right over here. You can see that little triangle um, play icon is the Actions icon. And whenever one of these little pop-out panels shows up in Photoshop, I can bring this down and I can use the space that it has afforded us here. You can see there's a series of default actions that we could use if we wanted to. We're going to install the action here. And to do that, we're going to go ahead to the upper right hand corner and then we're going to load the action right here. So you can see load actions is one of the options and we're going to go ahead and this is the first time um, Photoshop has done this so it's asking me a few things. We're going to say okay. And the cool thing about a Mac is if I go up here to the top I can scroll back to whichever folder it's in or I could go to the favorites over here. If I was in a recent place, if I had opened the downloads fo folder for example recently, it would show up down here as well. But I'm going to go to the downloads folder and find the folder. I need to know where I downloaded it to. And in this case it's just in the downloads folder. I'm going to select the ATN file because that's the actions file format .atn and then open. And it'll load that action into the actions folder in the Photoshop program folder. So I don't need to worry about keeping this folder in my downloads 
folder after I've done, after I have completed the installation process. So you can see here it is, to an artist, okay? I'm gonna go back to the web and I'm gonna navigate to the next step. So it says to install the patterns. And that's step two here with the installation. You know, it says in 2020 versions of Photoshop, we don't have that. So if you have 2020, it's gonna be a little easier, just follow that. He says here, in versions prior to 2020, we need to go to Edit, Presets, Presets Manager, and then load the patterns. And I'll show you how to do that. So it's up here under Edit, and then we go down to Presets, and then Presets Manager. So this is where we're going to find our patterns in Adobe Photoshop 2018. Click OK. And then up here under Preset Type, we're going to go to Patterns. So it's a little bit buried, but it is there, and the action will work just fine. So the presets manager here, now we're gonna load the patterns from that other folder. Remember when I said that Mac will show you recent places? Check this out, recent places to an artist because I had opened that folder before. It's an easy and quick way to navigate to the last place you were in. Let's click open and it's gonna load those patterns into the patterns panel. Um, you can see that it's got a couple, it's gonna use these uh, when it runs the tune action. Let's click done. And I think we are just about ready to move on. But let's go and again, follow this step by step. So we just installed step two, step one, step two. Now to set up the image. So any old image isn't necessarily gonna work and we have to do a little bit of editing in Photoshop before we run the action. So we need to understand a few basic ideas with Photoshop. Um, what I will do next is open my file and then um, I think what I'll do is actually make that in a part two. So stay tuned. So part one here is just the installation of the action, and then I'll make a second video for the uh, running of the action.